Hey, it's Michael Bockert. Hey. 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 It's Michael Bockert. Michael Bockert. Michael Bockert. Michael Bockert. Hey. This week, we're getting into sampling. What you just heard was created with only one sample, and that sample was this. Hey, it's Michael Bockert. So right now, we're in Ableton Live, and we're using Ableton stock sampler called Simpler. In classic mode, we can play our sample a range of pitches. At C4, it just plays the sample back at its regular rate. Hey, it's Michael Bockert. But if we play up and down, it plays it at different pitches. Hey, it's Michael Bockert. And we can play them simultaneously. Ableton Simpler has two other modes. It has one shot, which puts it into monophonic mode. Hey, it's Michael Bockert. Hey, it's Michael Bockert. It still plays it at different pitches, but this mode might be useful for loading up drum samples. And it also has a slice mode, which chops our samples into different bits. So we can play back the component parts. Hey, it's Michael Bockert. We can use these chops to perform the sample playing the different parts. You can, of course, pitch the sample up and down. If we pitch it up... And if we don't like the timbre that we're hearing, we can use Ableton's warp modes and we can try out different algorithms for warping and pitch shifting. So let's try texture. It's a little different than... If I wanted to create uh, harmonic sounds, I grabbed one part of the sample. Mike, Mike, Mike. But if you want to keep that in tune with everything else, the best thing you can do is tune the sample. We can use that by using Ableton's tuner. So we want to tune this to C because that's the note I'm playing. So you can bring the transpose down. Mike, Mike. And we're almost there. So let's use the detune to get the sense up until we hit that spot we want to hit. Mike, 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 Mike. Mic, mic. And it's not an exact science because sometimes the samples will have a certain pitch contour to it, but you can get it pretty close. Another technique I used was I used a really tiny section of the sample to create a waveform. So if we zoom in right into the sample, we can see kind of like a periodic waveform right in there. So we can get our start and end points and we can just put them at the zero crossings and we need that to loop. Just by taking small snippets of a sample, pitching them up and down, playing shorter and longer sections, you can make entire tracks using short snippets of audio. So I hope you enjoyed the process. You already heard what you can do with this. So see you next time.